Okay, so... Was this always open? The century looks bright for our fair metropolis. Jump with us 50 years into the future for a peek at Hill Valley circa 1981. Courtesy of Hal's Hardware. Oh. My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Corleone. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I'd better go see what's keeping him. Um... I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the 11th hour. But and why are you going not there? Not another word. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Miss Strickland! I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. Heavens, you've shaved off your hair, but... Carl Sagan? I'd like a word with you, if I may. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. I think it may be in your best interest. You see, I know what you're up to. Let's I know what go you're somewhere where we can talk privately. Go. I'll keep her <clears throat> occupied till you get back. Okay. So wait, I got a skateboard, right? Let's do. So I can hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. Emmett. What the fuck? Thanks again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. The authorities wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. Okay, let's see now, what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps, ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Well, yes, but she's got my best interests at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but make yourself oh, at home. Thanks. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! Okay. The mind of a degenerate criminal. This kid Tannen's mind map, as captured by our mind map helmet. You could tell he's a criminal just by looking at this? No, but when it's fed into the mental alignment meter... <laughs> Weird. Weird nothing. It's science! Okay. Um... How does the mental alignment thing work? Here! I'll show you. Hey! The test subject wears this mind mapping helmet, which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. Uh -huh. Okay. When I turn on the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke a series of positive or negative responses, as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that... As the responses oh. are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. All I see is a bunch of holes. Well, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe, as I place your mind map into the MAM. Layabout. Is that machine calling me a slacker? No, your own <laughs> physiological responses did. Shit. Nothing happened. Well, that button advances the slides during the mind mapping test. It only works while the test is running. Okay. What's this? The mind map cards from the dozens of subjects I've tested during the last few weeks. I've got to get them sorted before the expo begins. Why? 
Edna's got this grand scheme to catalog all of Hill Valley citizens by their mental alignment. Isn't that cute? Jesus. Not really. Okay, so what if we just switch... This is... If I'm gonna take Emmett's mind map, I'd better replace it with another one. Take Emmett's mind map? What if we take... Tannen's mind map. If Emmett's map looked like this, I bet Edna wouldn't think he's such a model citizen. Okay, so we can't just switch the two codes? I guess they are named, aren't they? I'd be careful of that if I were you. Why? The rocket fuel experiment must have stripped one of the teeth in the hand crank. As a consequence, if you turn it for more than 10 seconds, it... No! Sends out an electric shock. Oh... Okay, so what if we... What's this typewriter do again? During a mental alignment test, it takes messages from the mind map helmet and turns them into punch cards. Like the one for Mr. Tannen over there. Seems complicated. Actually, it was all rather easy to put together. Once Edna gave me the idea. Sounds to me like you should be working on harder problems then. What? Uh, sorry, I've got to get back to work. According to Emmett, this thing prints out mind maps. Okay, can According we to Emmett, this thing prints out mind maps. So this machine takes those little cards and tells you whether or not someone's a good guy or bad guy? Kind of. Actually, the helmet does all the work. The mental alignment meter is just a glorified arcade machine. Hmm. So why not just go with the cards? And it says that people respond well to flashing lights and snap judgments. I can't argue with that. Every time I kiss her, I see flashing lights and lose all sense of judgment. God no kidding. It. Okay, so... What's this? It's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? Uh... You look a little... constipated. What? <laughs> Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the picture. Jesus. I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Okay. Hey, Evan, photo album. I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. Okay. So we got a photo album. Can we... According to Emmett, this thing prints out mind maps. Mind if I... Go ahead. Hooligan. Ah, that'd be Mr. Needleman's card. I'll just put this in the stack with the other hooligans. Looks like you got a lot of hooligans. Yeah, about 90% of Hill Valley thus far. It's a Damn. little disturbing. <laughs> okay, um... According to Emmett, this thing prints out mind maps. So I gotta make a new mind map of Emmett. This button only works while the mind map test is active. Oh, okay. So... If we do this... Alright, so Edna... He won't like... Recorded. 
Who's that? Who the fuck is that? Wait, I know that. That's John Wilkes Booth, the guy that shot Lincoln. So, oh, uh, I guess he's supposed to be a negative figure. Yeah. Um. Valve. Ew. Oh. Okay, so he didn't like that. Um, stew pot. Ah, that smells much better. It's neutral. Music. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Damn. No, 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 don't turn it off. This is my favorite part. Shit. No. Okay. Can I do that again? No. Yes. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. See, I'm sort of independent. I am my own superintendent. My star is on the ascendant. Who the hell is that? I don't know who that is, but he's clearly a tannin, so I guess he's a negative figure. Okay. Then that's supposed to be good. Oh, shit. The music's gonna fuck up everything, isn't it? It is. God damn it. Good. Okay. Hey, Emmett, I think your mind map test is broken. Oh. Well, that switch just keeps choring out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks cool. like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. This should be a... De degenerate criminal, right? Yes. Bingo! Now that Emmett's worked. mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and... Damn, it's own machine will do him in. Okay. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey! What? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Oh, Emmett damn. Would kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. Right. How do we do that? So when it's turned on, that helmet can really read your mind? 
Not really. It's actually a little more than a simple Wheatstone bridge, measuring galvanic skin responses to various sensory stimuli. Like those pictures you showed me? Precisely. The theory is that good citizens will have positive reactions to positive figures, while bad citizens will have positive reactions to negative figures, and so on. And it really works? Hmm. So far. Okay. Um... <clears throat> What else we got around here? Hey, Emmett, what's cooking? That's an old brown family recipe for Hassenpfeffer. Hassenpfeffer? Rabbit stew. The trick is to add the cumin an hour after the carrots. Take a whiff. Mm, isn't that just about the best thing you've ever smelled in your life? It's, um, powerful, yeah. <laughs> I've got it on a slow boil for later. Okay, um, an oil can? What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. <laughs> Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. Spill it on his suit? I'm gonna spill it on his suit? I'm gonna spill it on his suit. I'm gonna spill it on his suit. Yes. Hey, Emmett, I've got a... Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Your, your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally P.O.'d. Wrong! What? what? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote, so I spent a few hours whipping up this. The hell? Whoa! What was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Damn it, you'll make a fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey, gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does okay. mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Okay. Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Shit. Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. I don't want to get that covered in any messy oil. Hey, Emmett, got a sec? Why, yes. In fact, I've got several. Mm. You look busy. Why don't we talk later? Don't worry about any sure of that thing. shit. That cleanser doesn't seem very portable. It isn't, but this is. A perfume bottle? Yes. Th no. I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. Can I... punk that? What the hell is that? What? Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. Okay. Emmett says this stuff will clean anything, but it only has a 12-hour shelf life. Too bad I haven't got 12 hours. Or do I? Or do we? Emmett's cleanser is good for cleaning all of, of off all sorts of sticky substances. What does that mean? Is there anything else I can do here? I'm gonna take a guess and say no. Emmett? No, yeah. fuck's sakes. You get back to work. We'll we'll catch up later. Thanks. Exit. Hmm. What? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. 
Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short, sometimes brutally so. So why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm you mean? not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know oh, what no. I want. No, no, Edna, no, 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 no. I'm gonna ask Edna to marry me. Right Fuck. now. No. Fuck. Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll God be much it. more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. Shit. Oh, man. Okay. Things are getting a little more desperate. Hey, Emmett. I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. Shit. Still talking. Okay. Why'd this open? That volcano looks a lot like the one I did for my 7th grade science fair. Maybe when real Doc comes back, we'll take a trip to see a dinosaur. Furs donated by Lamont's House of Ermine. At least they're going to a good cause. They're stuck tight in this tar. What about this? It's a good thing I did this before Emmett's 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. I already sprayed him. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? Okay. What did Emmett say about the lifespan of his cleanser? It's got a 12 hours lifespan. Is there anything to new with you? all who approach these hallowed halls. What's cooking? Ideas, up here. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So... Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. Hmm. Okay. See you, Trixie. Don't be a stranger. So, I know for a fact that Edna does not like Trixie. But how do I... Hey, Artie. Hey, Mr. G-Man. How's the, uh, undercover operation? If everything goes as planned, we should be wrapping things up real soon now. Well, when it's time for me to play my part, just say the word. So you're the registration guy for the expo? And chief accountant and paymaster. Hey, you're coming up in the world. And none of it would have happened if I hadn't responded to that subpoena. Okay. You haven't met Grand... I mean, Sylvia yet, have you? My contact person? Not yet. Is he or she at the expo? I don't think so, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a she. Okay. So... I like Trixie's new outfit. Cost the expo $14.89, but it was worth every penny. Damn. After all, she's the public face of the expo. Techni, muse of progress. Okay, uh... I don't suppose you miss working for Kit Tannen. No siree, Bob. I don't know how I ever got mixed up with an abusive, gun-toting thug like that. He even Jesus. stiffed me on overtime pay. Asshole. Think the Hill Valley Expo will be a success? I don't see why not. Why shouldn't California have its own high-technology center? Okay, Keep doing you're... what you're doing, Grandpa. Grandpa? Uh, that's our, uh, code name for you. Oh, ha! <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Stupid. 
The only other person around would be Edna. Can I talk to you a minute, Miss Strickland? Surely. Excuse us a moment. It's like this. Um... I talked to Trixie. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What wow. have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. What about it? I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible. Okay. You want Trixie to get fired. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... His invention. God damn it. So you, you get wouldn't her hesitate to get heartbeat. Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. Okay. So, how do I get dirt on Trixie? What does this asshole do? Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight! Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! Okay. Well... Cue ball, you asshole. What's up? Hey, pal. Oh, jeez, this guy again. Funny, so, I was gonna say the same thing. What's wrong with his teeth? Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of Kid's gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. Okay. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Cause Little Miss Goody Two-Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. Okay, um... You seem, seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just... Well, it just cheeses me off, you know? All right. So what's so, uh... Toe curling about Trixie's past. Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Uh. Oh, that's, uh, pretty bad. Well, right under there. the influence of alcohol, my mom made a pass at me. Ooh. All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Is that Jesus Christ? Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. 
She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? No, no, no. A whole set? You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Well, okay. Have you heard from Kid lately? We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. Okay. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other. It's all Greek to me. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh... Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? There's nothing. Nothing! I... I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't wrap me out the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other. It's all Greek to me. Okay. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. You talk funny, mister. That's a good thing these things never caught on. Algae cakes? Trixie sure got some nice, uh, Jesus. antlers. This is definitely something Edna wouldn't approve of. Yeah, probably not. Uh-huh. Okay, so... Show this to Edna? Why not? Can we offer algae cakes? There's gotta be a reason to have them, right? How about an algae cake? Guess I am feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> Where the hell did you get that crap? The Expo. Trixie, you want an algae cake? How about an algae cake? One doesn't normally think of algae as a dessert item, but, uh, what the hell? Well, it's got a very, um, unique flavor. Let's feed everyone algae cakes. Why not? Hey, Artie, guess what? How about an algae cake? Much obliged. Mm. Mm. That was different. Mm hmm. What else can we give an algae cake to? Edna, have an algae cake. How about an algae cake? Don't mind if I do. Not bad. Algae, you say? I'm Gross. going to suggest that they add that to the menu at the orphanage. Ew! I see. Well, how about an algae cake? Ugh. That tastes exactly like the sludge that Edna was pumping into me back in the Citizen Plus ward. <laughs> okay. So, we're gonna show... I might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, shit. Oh, sir! Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill I Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once the winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past winsome doesn't matter. Winsome wench of Winnipeg? Jesus. Trixie? What is it, Artie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? 
Not oh. even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're oh, really a no. Canadian... I'm being fired? You're firing me? I don't want to. Does yeah, that matter? Take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. She's gonna be mad. Let's talk. Oh, shit. It's on.